Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here doing a practice question on integration for you guys that involves the um, acceleration, uh, velocity and displacement of an object. So uh, before we start, uh, some prerequisite knowledge that you guys should know already. So if we represent the displacement of an object with the symbol x, Right, then the velocity is equal to, let's say, the symbol V, and it's equal to the derivative of x, so it's dx over dt. And acceleration will be equal to A, which is dv over dt, or the second derivative of x. All right. So uh, you should know that already and obviously if we can differentiate our uh, displacement to give velocity and differentiate velocity to give you acceleration then we can do the opposite of differentiation which is integration. So if we have acceleration is a, right, then we can get velocity by differentiating acceleration with respect to t and we can get um, displacement oh, so. by integrating velocity with respect to t right so basically going down this um, path is differentiation and going down this path is integration. Okay, so if you understand that, then you should be okay with uh, with this question. And also another thing is you should know how to integrate. <clears throat> so the normal formula for integrating is the integral of, uh, let's say, any sort of constant uh, times x to the power of n. Uh, if you integrate this equation with respect to x, then you're going to get ax to the power of uh, n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and plus a constant c. So that's the general formula for integration. And you should also know that e to the power of x uh, di differentiates into e to the power of x. So for example, if y is equal to e to the power of x, then the derivative of y is also e to the power of x. And similarly, if you integrate e to the power of x, you will also get e to the power of x plus a constant. Okay, so if you understand all that, then you should be okay with this question. So let's go to the actual question and let's read it for a second. So an object is moving in a straight line and uh, it has an acceleration of a bracket t equals 5t plus 4 times e to the power of t plus 3 uh, meters per second squared. If the object has an initial velocity of 2 meters per second and an in initial displacement of 0, find the displacement of the object after 3 seconds. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that um, we have the acceleration equation of the object and we want to find out the displacement equation of the object. So we need to go down this path to integrate the acceleration equation to get to the displacement equation. So step by step we're going to integrate it um, twice. So let's integrate it the first time to get the velocity equation. So a bracket t equals 5t plus 4e 
to the power of t plus 3 and if we want velocity we need to integrate it integrate the acceleration with respect to t so we need to integrate uh, 5t plus 4 times e to the power of t plus 3 uh, with respect to t and if we integrate it using the rules that I've given you then I will get 5t squared over 2 plus 4 uh, e to the power of t because you can see here that if you integrate um, an exponential function you get the same function uh, so e to the power of t integrates into e to the power of t uh, then we have uh, plus 3t uh, plus c and sorry I shouldn't use the integral symbol here because I've already integrated it okay so do we have an equation for velocity uh, not yet because we haven't figured out what c is and if you go back to our original question you can see that it has given us an extra bit of information that says that the initial velocity is 2 meters per second so if we go back to here we know that when t is equal to 0 the velocity is equal to 2 meters per second okay because that's what the question has told us the initial velocity what is the velocity when the time is equal to 0 when the time is equal to 0 the velocity is 2 so if we substitute those two numbers into the equation of our integrated equation here then I will get 2 is equal to 5 times 0 squared over 2 so that just all becomes 0 plus 4 times e to the power of 0 e to the power of anything to the power of 0 is 1 so I'm gonna change that to 1 plus 3 times 0 so that's gone plus C so then I will get 2 is equal to 4 plus C and therefore C is equal to uh, 2 minus 4 which is um, c is equal to negative 2 so now that I found c you can substitute c back into the velocity equation and I will have an equation for velocity so it's 5t squared over 2 plus 4e to the power of t plus 3t plus uh, sorry minus 2 and that is my velocity equation okay that's my velocity equation now in order to get the displacement equation I will have to integrate velocity right as I have discussed above over here the displacement which is x is equal to the integral of velocity so if I integrate that right um, if I integrate all of this I will get uh, 5t cubed over uh, 2 times 3 plus uh, 4 times uh, e to the power of t again plus 3t squared over 2 minus 2t plus a constant All right now if we uh, simplify that I will get uh, 5 over 6 t cubed plus 4e to the power of t plus 3t squared over 2 minus 2t plus c but still I don't know what c is so I have to use the in equation um, sorry the information that was given to us about the initial displacement so the initial displacement when time is equal to 0 the displacement is equal to 0 so if I substitute that into my equation when time is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 
right? So if I put that into my um, equation, then I will get zero equals uh, five over six t cubed is just zero plus four times e to the power of zero plus three times zero squared over two, so that's zero again, minus two times zero is zero again, plus c. e to the power of zero is one, so it's zero equals uh, four plus c. All right, so c is equal to negative four. All right, now if I substitute that back into my equation, I will get x equals five over six t cubed plus four e t to the power of t plus 3 over 2t squared minus 2t plus c uh, sorry minus 4 because c is minus 4 so that is my displacement equation and then the last step is to figure out the displacement of the object after 3 seconds so if I put that t equals 3 where um, t is in the displacement equation and I substitute 3 into the variables right, into the variables and try to get the answer put it all in the calculator and the answer is 106.34 meters is the displacement Okay, I uh, hope that you 